from Hogwarts. Professor McGonagall would like your help preparing next year's Hogwarts acceptance letters. Can you ensure that a new generation of magical children get their invitations and rediscover your first magical memory? One year ends, another begins. What adventures will the ref- next school you bring? I heard Professor McGonagall has an announcement. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, this is surely a special time. Another year of Hogwarts is nearly over, and a new team will be. Tom will soon begin. Before long, Hogwarts acceptance letters will be sent to magical children all over Britain and Ireland. Uh, these lucky children will go- join the school as first years, just as you once di- did. Uh, it is a bright memorable day for any young witch and wizard when they receive the invitation of, from Hogwarts. But nothing lasts forever. Some, for some of you, this may be your final year as a Hogwarts student. Uh, the rest of you will re- continue your magical education in the new term when you're older and when uh, one hopes wiser. For all of you, trust in the knowledge that the friends and memories you have made at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. With that in mind, I invite you to cherish memories of the past as you consider the new adventures that await you. And stay alert for a special announcement from Professor McGonagall at the end of the, your meal. I bet my friends have interesting stories about when they receive their letters. It seems that nearly everyone... I oh, remember the moment they received the invitation to all goods. I say I still remember how excited I was when my letter came. I couldn't wait to get here and start exploring the castle. What were you most looking forward to? Uh, I was most excited about looking for my brother and finding the truth about what happened to him. I respect your knack for solving mysteries. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of what happened to your brother eventually. I was most excited about all the magical spells I was going to learn. A spell like Alohomora, for instance, that one's a real game changer. And other spells too, of course. That's the beauty of magic, there's always more to learn. Talking about Hogwarts acceptance letters brings up so many memories. After using magic for the first time, my capacity to cause chaos grew considerably. But then again, if I had never shown any magical talent, I would never have owned a spot in the Book of Admittance. You do know what the Book of Admittance is, right? No, can you tell me? Uh, You still have so much to learn. Contains the names of every student who's ever been invited to Hogwarts. It's created the mystery, mysterious magical artifact. What about the Quill of Acceptance? Do you know what it does? Oh, uh, it's the names of new Hogwarts students in the books of admittance. Uh, they are some of the m- most mysterious magical art- artifacts in all of Hogwarts. When a child uses magic for the first time, they own a spot in the Book of Eminence. And everyone whose name is written in the Book of Eminence gets an invitation to Hogwarts. That means everyone here must have performed magic as a child in order to get a spot. A talented wizard like you probably did something pretty impressive to get a spot in the Book of Eminence. Do you know what it was? Now that you mention it, I'm not quite clear on that. Thank you for your patience. All of you know the Quill of Acceptance and the Book of Admittance are nearly finished with their annual task. 
They are recalling the names of magical children who will be invaded to Hogwarts. When the work is done, we will be ready to begin preparing next year's Hogwarts acceptance letters. Therefore, I am now accepting volunteers to help with the task. All who participate will gain my personal thanks, but act quickly. Spots are limited. If you want to learn more about how Hogwarts invites new students, now's your chance. Can't wait to learn more about Hogwarts. I knocked over a whole bunch of Professor Spout's best parts and came here to hide. I trust you came to volunteer too. There are more people here than I expected. Thank you for coming. Now let us begin. All of us who are about to embark on a, an exciting adventure. As you know, I am the deputy headmistress of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It is my duty to manage the process of preparing and delivering Hogwarts acceptance letters. But I will need the help of dedicated volunteers like you to ensure that there are no hiccups. We will begin by outlining the process. Let me see if I understand this correctly. This is uh, this is all. This all starts when you transcribe the names on of the magical children from the Book of Amendments. Uh, the children listed in the book have displayed enough magical talent to gain an invitation to Hogwarts, but new students are not the only one. The ones who got a letter from Hogwarts prior to the new tome. Can any of you tell me what returning students will find in the Hogwarts letters? Every returning student gets a letter telling them what supplies they need for the next year. I'm glad to see that you were paying attention. Uh, that's where volunteers like you come in. I'll send each of you to retrieve lists of needed spell books and supplies from every Hogwarts professor. Each step in the process is its own fascinating adventure. Tell me which step do you find the most intriguing? The list of new students recorded by the book at Quill and the most fascinating Hogwarts students are selected by magical artifacts. Um, on Hogwarts' greatest treasures. For that reason, they are kept safe in w what has come to be known as the Small Lock uh, Tower. Every year, I travel to the tower and transcribe the list of magical children to be invaded to the Hogwarts from the book. The true nature and origin of the book and quill are, I must admit, shrouded in mystery. But for our purposes, it is enough to know that once we have the names they have recorded, our work is begins. It is no small task, but with all of us working together, the process should not be difficult. When will you be leaving to collect the names? Very soon, in fact, I will visit the small lock tower that contains the book and quill. At the end of this meeting, I'm afraid you cannot. No student has ever entered the small lock tower, nor seen the book and quill inside. But please meet me in the corridor upon my return. She said she had a request of me to make. I wonder what it could be. 
what a delight to f- it is to find you. I must. I was just waiting for Professor McGonagall. And so you must be one of the one Maneva's diligent volunteers. Some of our brave students did much to the same, and though they, I'm just returning from the small lock tower myself. What were you doing up there? Nothing significant. I occasionally spend some quiet hours up there trying to catch the book and cool in action. Did you see anything? Fortunately not, the Quill of Acceptance and Book of Amendments seem to have completed their work. When Minerva discovered me up there, she promptly kicked me out. Our deputy headmistress takes her duties regarding Hargood's acceptance letters very seriously. She was just explaining all the steps of the process. There's so much to do. I do appreciate her dedication and the dedication of help- helpful volunteers like you. Receiving an invitation of Hogwarts uh, is one of the most impactful moments in the life of a young witch or wizard. It's important to get these sorts of things right. Said she had a request for me. Do you know what it could be? I suspect you'll find out soon enough. You must be curious about your school's unique process of selecting new students. But there's a lot of th- I still don't know. The book and quill are so mysterious. No one seems to know how they work. Uh, if they hadn't cho- chosen me, I would never have gotten my invitation to Hogwarts and met all of my friends. But I may be able to shed some light on how they work. Please do. I'll tell you all I can. Our uh, deputy headmistress arrives as predicted. Uh, thank you for waiting. Uh, well, then let me don't let me interrupt. Please finish your discussion. Walk together. They certainly do. The cool of acceptance uh, senses every magical child in Britain and Ireland and tries to record the names. But the book is most selective, selective and will sh- snap shut if the child in question has not shown. True magical abilities in this way, the book and crew uh, work together to ensure every child, Hogwarts student has genuine magical potential. Yes, and any display, display magic will do. Most children perform the full spell without even realizing it. But who made the book and crew? What's the magic was used? Uh, I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. The West is as as they say is a mystery. But you aren't one to let a good mystery um lie, are you? How do you feel about the prospect of not getting all the answers to your questions about the book and pool cruel? Can't stand the idea of not knowing the answers. I want to know everything about the book and quill. I suspected you might feel this way. You and I are not very different. I can ve- confess I myself have been trying to understand the secrets for many years. But I have made precious little progress. Sometimes I wonder if certain mysteries are best left unexplained. I must admit that the secrets of the book and quill can occasionally come as a relief. Some parents get quite upset when their children are not invaded to Hogwarts. When they come to me with their grievances, I bemoan the mysteries of the book and quill, and they are quelled, even if we will never know the secret. I'm so glad the book and quill chose me to be invited. You must have displayed true magical talent as a child. To own your invitation, do you recall what it was you did? I remember some things, but I'm not clear on when or where or what my first display of magic was. Uh, while some mysteries, such as those as the book and quill, may remain unexplained, the question of what you did to demonstrate your magical talent is one you can solely answer. 
I agree with the headmaster to this, uh, and I encourage you to uncover the truth of your past. Understanding the roots of your magical aptitude will aid you in performing new students, informing new students of their own. Especially with the important role you'll be taking in the Hogwarts acceptance letter of progress. Uh, every year I select one of my most gifted students to serve as an eyes and ears. This year I have chosen you. I'll be relying on you to ensure that everything goes smoothly. I'll be in good touch. In the meantime, I encourage you to try and uncover the secrets of your past. So you volunteered to help Professor McGonagall? I did. She even gave me a special rule. Uh, you are such a good student. I'd never be able to do that sort of thing. I'm sure you would manage if you wanted to. But there's something I keep thinking about. I'm still unclear on what my own first use of magic was. Uh, and Professor McGonagall even said I would... It would make me a better volunteer. I was wondering if you could tell me more about your first magical moment. I'd love to help you, but it's something one. It's just that I don't usually tell people the whole story. No, I wouldn't care if it was if that was the case. I suppose I may as well tell you everything. Whatever your secret is, I'll keep it between us. It happened one night after my parents came home from a long day at the ministry. Your full spell was to counter your parents' impotable charm. I couldn't stand it when they left me out of thin, so I tried to use drop on them from another room. Uh, naturally. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't make out my parents' conversation. It was like they were muffled. What, what did you do? I just kept focusing on the sound, and then suddenly I could hear everything they were saying. You broke the spell. And that's right. I must have cast the counter spell without even knowing. Were you, were your parents, what were your parents talking about? Complaining about the ministry letting formal death leaders back into the fold. After the wizarding war, uh, many formal death eaters were allowed back with Bailey a slap on the wrist. Uh, because they were rich and connected. Uh, my parents didn't like it, and neither do I. I had a hard time trusting the ministry after that, and most forms of authority, to be honest. Uh, but for the longest time, I couldn't use magic at all. I was worried I'd never be able to do it. You can imagine why I, I don't tell them this story very often. I don't like admitting that I'm a light magical boomer. Uh, talking, taking so long to demonstrate my magical ability is a little embarrassing. I don't think uh, you have anything to be embarrassed about. You learned magic when it was right for you. The fact that it took you longer than some doesn't make you any less of a witch. I eventually learned that lots of witches and wizards don't show their magical ability until later in their childhoods. For me, I wasn't. it wasn't until I was in a situation when I really wanted something. Perhaps I, it, it was the same for you. Your first use of magic may have involved strong feelings too. It does sound rather familiar. Thanks. That was helpful. Good idea. I'll probably meet up with lots of students and professors as I help with Hogwarts acceptance letters. I'll listen to those stories. But the first times they use magic, hopefully it will help me clarify my own. I should get going. We'll need my help. Hogwarts acceptance letters soon. I wonder who I should ask next about the false use. Uh, as you go around Hogwarts collecting lists of required materials for next uh, year's lessons, you speak with your friends and professors about the false magical experience.
Hi, Docos. Hello, Penny. You are here on behalf of Professor McGonagall, aren't you? You guessed it. She asked me to come and check on you. Professor Snape hasn't produced his list of required materials for next year's potions. I should be around here somewhere. Don't, do not disturb me. I'm in the middle of brewing a complex and difficult potion. He's busy. Can you come back later? I would, but Professor McGonagall really needs that list. Perhaps we can help Professor Snipe complete his potion, then he would be able to give you the list. You may help me with ingredient preparation, but even the slightest error in measurement will result in severe consequence. I uh, tapped you to be your uh, lead volunteer to help with Hogwarts acceptance letters. I have an ear for these sorts of things. I think you'll do great. It's so exciting to think about all the magical children out there whose lives are about to change. Can I ask you something? I've been trying to clarify the moment when I first used magic. I want to ask my friends about their first magical moments in hopes that it will help me. I'll tell you all about it. Your first magical memory was your grain helping you brew potion. Grain did most of the work, of course, but she let me perform the final potion in completion, completing and flourish. Speaking of which, let's finish the mixture. It's a key ingredient for Professor Snipe. I think that's about all we can do to help Professor Snape. I'm sure he will be finished soon. Sharing your first magical moment with someone special to you must make uh, for a happy memory. Uh, Grain is actually my step grandmother, but I have always called her Grain. After her first potion, I couldn't wait to get my Hogwarts acceptance letter. I treasure the memories I share with my Grain. Oh shit, you know it may have, it sounds right somehow, I think. What? Why did it keep skipping? Uh, here's your list of spell books and supplies for the next year's potions lessons, as promised. We were just talking about the special people in our lives. Did you have anyone special in your life when you were young who helped you develop your magical talent? Many witches and wizards who had someone in their past who helped them to shape them. Such individuals can inspire their peers to go, change, and strive to become a better version of themselves. The bonds one's forms in one's youth are extremely powerful and extremely personal. I agree. The bond I have with my brother Jacob is very important. Sounds like we all had someone special. Good luck learning the truth about your first magical moment. I'll be waiting, visiting Professor Fluick to get his list next. Hi, Ben. Greetings, uh, we were just finishing up my list of required spellbooks. Uh, actually, if you have a spare moment, there was something else I wanted to ask. I've been trying to clarify the moment when I first used magic. Uh, asking others about their first magical experience has been quite helpful so far. Uh, everyone's magical origin is different and often reflects the sort of which... Uh, or wizard that person will become. What sort of w wizard would you say you are now? Uh, I would say I'm playful. I take my magic seriously, but I want to have fun with it. Uh, you may find that your first magical m moment was one of fun and play as well. Perhaps, but remember that we are not defined by our past, but by the actions we take in the present. Please do. First time I used magic, I was making a pot of tea. 
You charmed your mom's teapot to whistle your favorite song. It was rather delightful at first, but then it wouldn't stop. I tried everything I could, but nothing worked. I ended up burying my mom's teapot in the flower garden. It was all quite distressing at the time. Uh, especially with those born with no knowledge of magic. My parents and I didn't know what to make of the situation, but when my Hogwarts acceptance letter came, it was delivered with a very kind witch. She sat us down and did her best to explain everything about magic and the wizarding world to us. Although I still found the whole experience quite terrifying, when a child's magic awakens, it often results in something unexpected and uncontrolled. Even children with from wizarding fa- families are often caught off guard by the full spell. Magical children simply haven't learned how to control their powers. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Has anyone else you have spoken to with uh, been embarrassed by the first magical moment? I'm not at liberty to say, but you would be surprised by how many witches and wizards are embarrassed about the first magical moment. I wonder if my own force of use of magic was something unexpected and uncontrolled. I am proud to know students like you and Mr. Cooper at Hogwarts. You are a credit to the school. I wish you luck in your endeavor. And least I forget, here is the list, list of required spellbooks and materials. Thanks. And thank you for sharing your story. I better be going. I gotta visit Professor Spout. Oh, Tonks is with her. Hello, Professor Spout. It's is something wrong. Nothing to get too worked up over. I just misplaced my list of required materials. It's around here somewhere. Just need to dig around for it. She took a bit of a tumble earlier and knocked over some of my best parts. If you would be willing to lend her a hand, I'd be free to find where I le- left that list. Watcha. Are you alright? I'm trapped. I can't leave until I have helped repart all the plants I knocked over. I tried to hide in the Transfiguration classroom, but then I ended up as one of Professor McGonagall's volunteers. I'm helping with Hogwarts acceptance letters, too. I was just, it was just my luck that Professor McGonagall asked me to help Professor Spout. I ended up right back where I started. I know, there were... There were far more before I started. I must have, must be clum- the clumsiest w- witch. But do you think I'm too clumsy? You're not too clumsy. It's just who you are. You're the perfect amount of clumsy. And there's nothing about you that needs to change. But do you wish I didn't create so ma- many messes? Uh, ask me anything. Uh, I've been talking to my friends. But the first time they use magic... Well, that sounds easy enough. I'll tell you what I know. You transformed your appearance on your day you were born. It was quite confusing in the hosp- to the hospital nurses. When my mom realized that I was a metamorphosis, she knew I was magical. Your first magical experience sounds a bit like your first prank. I suppose I've been pranking ever since. Since I was only an infant when it happened, I have no memory of it, but my mom tells me the story all the time. I don't know if it was the same with me, could I, I have been too young to remember my first magical moment. I, th- I think uh, your story was, has hit on something important. I may have been very really young when I was first used magic, but the memory could still be there somewhere. <coughs> if I could find a way to unlock it, I could learn the truth of my first magical moment. I got the list. It was buried in one of my pots. Here it is, as requested. While I was digging around, I overtold your conversation. It all, it's always a joy to learn about how different people discover magic for the first time. Do you have any advice to help unlock my memory? I think you're already well on your way. 
But I still say this, magical people are not unlike magical plants. Some bloom only in the season, others take a bit more time, and everyone is different. But they are all beautiful once they come to, into their own. Watching students like you grow in, into capable adult, adults is one of the great pleasures of being a Hogwarts professor who wants to stay and collect but a bub bub tubo uh park uh w with me i really must be going very well i guess it's just you and me miss tonks Hello, are you are you helping Professor McGonagall with Hogwarts acceptance letters? I am. We were just looking over all the lists of Vukai materials. Now that you are here, we should have everything we need. Uh, you asked for. I will bring these to Lucindia Thomsonkel Pocus for her inspection and signature. We are nearly ready to begin the next stage. But first, how are you finding new duties? Found them quite enlightening. I'm learning how Hogwarts works behind the scenes and getting to know my friends and professors better. I had hoped that this would be the educational experience you, for you. Understanding the origin of your magical abilities can only aid you in your duties as my lead volunteer. Uh, oh shit, uh, I could tell you you my first magical magical moment. But first I would like to hear more about what Mr. Dane has discovered so far. That will help focus your observations and advice to be mo the, uh, the most useful to Mr. Dane. Seems you volunteer, your volunteer duties visiting professors uh, have yielded results. Uh, so of what some of what I've learned from my friends, first magical experience has felt familiar. I think I was feeling a strong emotion when I first used magic, and it may have included some sp someone special to me. It probably happened when I was very young, so I was hoping to unlock that memory somehow. Uh, they are too young to remember it properly. I was no different. My mother told me that I was an infant. I performed all sorts of mischievous magic. Uh, nothing special. Summoning toys from high shelves. Causing father's bagpipes to play from another room. I was even able to get the fa family cat to do my bitten. Uh, with me chuckling happily. Uh, of course, Mr. Igu, uh, such things are hardly uncommon. My first magical moment may not be as impressive as M Professor McGonagall's, but I'll gladly tell you about it. I was just a few years out of my nursery school. My family was paying for a trip to the park. You wanted to look your best. I was trying on hats, but I liked the style on of the beanie I had chosen, but not the material. But when I wanted something better, I started to imagine my hat in a luxurious cashmere, and before I knew it, my ha hat had transformed for someone so young. That spell, I didn't, it didn't last on, but the memory stayed with me. He was uh, where things got interesting. For the longest time, I remembered the hat in, as a beanie. But when I last visited the home, I checked. What did you check, find out? It turns out I remembered things wrong. The hat I had changed figure wasn't a beanie at all. It was a fedora. How could I had f have forgotten something like that? A fedora is far more stylish than a bean beanie. My point is, it wasn't until I found the object itself that I learned the truth. Uh, perhaps there's an item from your past that could help you in a similar way. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you both for so much. Uh, I'm certain you'll discover the truth before long. In the meantime, there's so much to do regarding the acceptance letters. 
I'll also be sending you to Diagon Alley with Hagrid later to check on the lo local shops. Precisely, I suggest you grab a bite to eat for now while you still can. Part 3. There's so much uh, to do in preparing next year's Hoggles acceptance letters, and you're closer than ever to rediscovering your first magical memory. Now, there's got to be some way to unlock my first magical memory. I'll need to act quickly if I want to solve this before the Hogwarts acceptance letters go out. I saw that gloomy look on your face from across the hall and could tell you were wigging out about something. Yeah, alright, Mila, I am troubled. Uh, it's never simple. Simple. There's always something else going on. Is the dragon loose in the castle, and you haven't been able to duel it yet? It's about my first time using uh, magic. I want to remember what it was. I know it's locked away somewhere in my head, but I can't seem to recall it. I've been asking my friends about their own first magical moments. I left quite an impression on everyone involved. I'm the most powerful witch at Hogwarts, after all. It's only natural for my origin story to be something impressive. Tell me about it. Why should I tell you about it? Perhaps I can convince you. You can try. Alright, you convince me, I'll tell you what happened. <sighs> you can't remember it well. Of course I remember the moment clearly. The living room le 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 leaves quite an impression. Your magic moment moment was set in the fire. Is that so surprising? I suppose not. I was extremely angry about something. The next thing I knew, the flames were all around me. Uh, I have learned that someone's ma first magical moment can be motivated by strong emotions. As soon as they uh, smelled smoke, my parents rushed in and put the fire out. Was everyone alright? Uh, except for the living room rug that had been uh, depleted. Uh, my parents were quite angry with the fire, but I could tell that they were impressed by the heat of my flames. I'd say your story is quite impressive. Uh, now I'll be sure to spread the word so everyone knows how powerful I am. To, the, to this day, every time I smell something burning, I can't help but think of my full smell, spell. I uh, like clockwork, it's the sense of my smell is closely connected to my memory, you know? I suppose that's something you could keep in mind. Thanks, Mula, that will help be act that was actually helpful. Uh I I'd better be going uh you as well. I assume Professor Mgongo will uh have another task for you. I'll be going now to chain grounds. Hello, hello Hagrid, what oh, is in this amazing Hogwarts Owls are uh, out and ready for action. They will be delivering Hogwarts acceptance letters to children all over Britain. So before we let them go, we have got to make sure they are healthy. Uh, I see, so how do we do that? Uh, easy, we just get them fly around. Uh, we'll give them a quick inspection. Barnaby Hughes already got the lay of the lane. I'll just give one question to you. Was it? Were you never going to ask me about my first magical moment? How did you know I was asking people? Penny told me. I was beginning to think you forgot about me. I would never forget about you, Barnaby. Good, because I really want uh, to you to hear my story. I would make uh, it would make sense if you after you hear my story. Your first spell was no magically summon a jar of biscuits. 
Yep, it was too high for me to reach, so I used magic even without thinking. There were plenty of biscuits to go around, so I shared the whole jar with the neighborhood schools. Being who they were, I don't think my parents would have been impressed with my first spell. Eating biscuits, sharing with school is not powerful or violent enough for their taste. Don't feel, don't be, I never felt the need to tell them. I even forgot about the memory until recently. But then one day I was eating ginger newts in the courtyard and the memory suddenly came back. Uh, it's just a thing, I, I did nothing at all sometime when... Uh, you are trying to remember something, it's better to think of something else entirely. Thinking too much can make it too hard to think at all. So that's the idea you thought it could help me. That may just be just what you need to shake something. What do you think? Is my idea helpful? Yes, I think it was helpful. I'll try to take your advice and focus on something else for a while. Or right, if you need help not thinking... About things, as I ask, I'm an expert. All of the hours passed inspections with flying colors. They are ready for the journey. Thanks for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, we'll be traveling to Diagon Alley together before long. For now, Professor McGonagall says that Madame Pince needs your help in the library. That's several hundred letters done and a few hundred left to go. At least we don't have to write these by hand. This is fun. Everyone's doing their part. Uh, thank you for coming. Welcome to the Hogwarts Acceptance Letter. Jesus, look at them all. Every year, the deputy had mistress, mistress composes a letter for every child who will be invaded to Hogwarts. It's our task to duplicate her message accurately and address it to every eligible recipient. Uh, it's not all. Both new and returning students that need updated lists of school supplies. Where every Hogwarts student gets a letter at the beginning of a term and not just new students. Correct. Needless to say, we have quite a few letters to write. I have developed a system for writing and dressing and stamping letters as efficiently as possible. What is your impression of the system? It's economical. Uh, you manage to maximize pr productivity in the shortest time with the least amount of work. I'm delighted you feel that way. Efficiency is my primary goal. If you see any room for improvement, do let me know. Uh, you have a role to play in this process as well. Was my role that has informed me of your special st status as a whole lead volunteer. Therefore, the task of inspecting Hogwarts acceptance letters for new students should go to you. Uh, are completed, completed and ready for delivery. But before that, I need you to go over each one and make sure the names and addresses are all accurate. It certainly is, I cannot in impress uh, the importance of the task. Even one minor error could lead to a, a child not receiving a letter. Then I would best be careful. And that's every Hogwarts acceptance letter. It's fascinating to think about uh, everything these letters will mean to the children who receive them. Percy Weasley, Oliver Wood, Penelope Cle Clearwater, Marcus Flint. There's all the secret uh, Kurdish players when Harry went to Hogwarts. I wonder what sorts of ventures these new students will c get up to in no time to ho uh, Hogwarts. Will they explore new secret areas of Hogwarts? Will anyone discover the place the Tulip and I? Wait, Jacob's secret room. Why didn't I think of it before? I should just search Jacob's secret room to cl clue for a clue to my first magical memory. I agreed with him, and it seems that it, it <laughs> the right thing to do. Barnaby's advice turned out to be helpful after all. 
Oh, you made a very fine letter inspector. I found very few errors, minor pints, and the ones I did find were easy to re remedy. Uh, wasn't too tedious, was it? I didn't find it tedious at all. Just think about how all these children's lives are going to change by getting the letters is exciting. Many virtues will, when selecting her lead volunteer with the letters written, stamped, and inspected, the Hogwarts acceptance process is nearly complete. You'll check in with the local shops to verify that they have all the necessary materials. I've got to search Jacob's room before leaving with Hagrid. I need to find Tulip and tell her what's happened. So we can search Jacob's room together. I've always wanted to see what artifacts looks like up close. My dad was f had five of those at home. Uh, so we can unlock Jacob's room together. Is she around here somewhere? What's she doing in the crowd? What's going on? Hello, Bill. We are just supposed to want to see you. I've got something here. The Quillen book. Almost, at least this is the closest we'll ever get to them. They are highly detailed replicas. Where did you get them? That's what I think I would be of interest to you, but first you ought to check them out for yourself. We, we have even got one of Hogwarts foremost history experts here to share fascinating details. Let's take a closer look. Thanks for showing these replicas to me. You haven't even heard the best part. I heard you are Professor McGonagall's lead volunteer. Help him prepare. What does this have to do with these replicas? There were special gifts from Professor McGonagall after I was whole head lead volunteer a few years ago. If you see your volunteer duties to the end, you may get a pair of replicas just like these. Uh, I was just looking for you. I want to talk about something. I have been thinking more about the book and quill and something just doesn't feel right. Well, but what about the children rejected by the book of admittance? Aren't they all cho those chosen by the quill magical? And why do we entrust our fates to a couple of magical artifacts anyway? <coughs> um... I think the system is unfair. We know so little about the book and quill work. What if they get something wrong? You and what about the children rejected by the book and of the mid tints? But that residual magic eventually fades. That's why the book requires a child to demonstrate magical abilities. But I'm still suspicious about how we are expected to trust two magical artifacts. Fair enough, I suppose there are some aspects of Hogwarts that we'll never truly understand. Me too. I glossed way over what, what you wanted to ask me earlier. I'm hoping there's a clue inside that can unlock my first magical memory. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Part 4, learn the truth about the magical origin story behind next year's Hogwarts acceptance letters. Thanks for helping me. I want to help you get into the room 
to get to the bottom of your fullest magical moment. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. Hopefully, there's a clue in here that could help unlock my memory. Andre talked about object about his past that helped him clarify his first magical moment. Made me realize the magical memories can be closely connected to friends and loved ones. Mentioned that certain smells can trigger the memories. I suppose it's really not much to go on, but if there's a clue in my first magical moment anywhere in Hogwarts, it would be here. Let's get searching. I think there's something bigger than that crate. It's it's a book and it seems familiar. What is it? It's an old copy of the Toadstool. Oh, I remember this book. It's my one of my favorites from when I was little. I was always trying to get my family to read it to me. Let me take a closer look. There's a message written on the tail page from Jacob. Congratulations, you got into Hogwarts. Now that you have received your acceptance letter, uh, I want you to have this book as a gift uh, from me. This way you'll always remember how your magical journey began. How your magical journey began that it could be referring to your first time you use magic. This might be the first clue we needed to unlock my first magical moment. Uh, you'll need your wits to thrive here, so I have a prepared a little puzzle for you. A puzzle, a way to make everything extra tricky. My brother must have meant to give this to me after I had received my Hoggard's acceptance letter, but he disappeared before he had the chance. I'm sure Jacob would be happy to know that you finally got his gift. It even smells familiar, I'm not sure. This is the exact copy of the Toadstool Tales. What is this is amazing. We found a smelly object from your past. How do you feel? Excited. Excited we have found an opponent clue and Jacob's even closer to the puzzle to solve. If we can figure this out, we may be able to discover the truth. This is huge. You we are closer to solving the this than ever. Uh, we'll need to hurry leaving for Diagon Alley before on. Head to the artifact room. We don't have much time to solve the puzzle. The answer in some way the in the book Jacob gave you. I'm all but certain this book has something to do with the first time I used magic. There's got to be a way to unlock the book's secrets. What if we try to spell? I'm not sure we should assume the solution is magical. Jacob was meant to give this book after I accepted it into Hogwarts. If things had gone as planned, I wouldn't have known any spells. If the answer is magical, perhaps there's a clue in Jacob's message. You'll need your wits to thrive here. You can thank me let later. Uh, you know something about the way he will find the world sends uh, me off. Some of the words in this book have tiny little marks next to them. I think that's the answer. Find all the marked words in your book. We have deciphered Jacob's message. Don't keep me in suspense. Do you pip? Oh, well done decoding this message. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. I hope your use at Hogwarts are exciting and special as they are for me. Uh, we use at Hogwarts are pretty exciting. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. 
Ever since you were a small child, I have known you were destined for Hogwarts. That spell you performed that foolish and plots when you were little was more than enough to convince me. I, I hope this copy of Toadstool's Tales helps you remember the moment you officially became a wizard. Don't forget the magical talent is only the beginning. It's what you do with it that counts. Magic is powerful, but knowledge is even better. Your love and brother Jacob. Your brother's plan was to give you this book after you got to Hogwarts, ex your ex Hogwarts acceptance letter. He probably wanted to be your with you. It would have been nice to share that moment with him. You have got quite the brother. Not just any sibling would take so much care for their brother's sake. Jacob is ridiculous. Uh, I'll find out what happened to him one day, and when I do, we'll laugh together or I'll laugh enough for the both of us. I hope you do. Jacob's message makes me wa makes one thing clear. The first time I used magic was at Flourish and Plots. I wonder what it was you did there. I wish I knew. This is the feeling. This is all feeling so familiar, but the memory hasn't unlocked yet. There's only one thing left to do. Go there with his book in hand and see if any memory surfaces. I'm not about to let you do this alone. I'm coming with you. Thanks, Tulip. I appreciate it. We'll go to Flourish and Plots and finally unlock my first magical memory. Thanks for coming with me. We have made it to your our full shop. I didn't even know you were, you were volunteering too, but it's been nice having you along. We have got to make the shop uh, ha make sh sure the shop has all the needed spell books. I'll talk to Madame Val Valinella uh, about upcoming orders. The two of you should check out the selection. Take all the time you need. Haggard, you know about that? Everyone knows you have been talking about it for days. Go on now, and good luck. We are here. What's next? I'll start by checking over the selection of spell books here, like Haggard said. That can come after everyone's counting on us to make sure that the spell books needed for next year's lesson lessons are in stock. Wouldn't want to disappoint Professor McGonagall. You are so dedicated. I can see why Professor McGonagall chose you. I want to recall my first magical moment too, but first we have to, a job to do. Alright, we checked over the selection of spell books. It looks next to you students won't have trouble finding spell books. I'll show Haggard our findings later for now. We have to... Yeah. Have a memory to unlock. Alright, we are ready to unlock your memory. Quick question before we start, how exactly does you you unlock a memory? He meant to give me this copy of Toadstool Tales as I could always remember that moment. I suppose I'll just sit here and read the book. Let's remember what you have learned. Um, and don't forget about what Mueller said, smells triggering memories. I know, I know, I'll sniff the book, I'll just relax and let your mind wander. Here goes. I think it, it's working, I'm starting to rem remember something. He must have been several years into his school in by the points. I had the book with me, I wanted Jacob to read it to me, probably for like the thousandth time. But he was too preoccupied. I wanted to get his attention, so what did you do? What sort of magic was it? I transfigured Jacob's spellbook so that he 
They all torn into copies of the toadstool. There was no way Jacobs could have missed that. That was quite cunning. The memory is so clear. You did it. You discovered a new magical origin story. Uh, let's get back to Haggard. I'll be finished helping with the Haggard's acceptance letters. Then we'd better hurry. I want to hear all about your first magical moment. Whatever your first spell was, I'm sure it should, suits you. Well done, recovering your ma first magical. Thanks for coming. Uh, but first, everyone wants to hear your first magical moment. Uh, by listening to your stories, I've gotten to know you all that much better. Now it's the time to, for me to return the favor. Thanks to all of you, I know how my Hogwarts journey really began. And it never would have happened if I hadn't volunteered to help with the Hogwarts acceptance letters. In a few moments, the Hogwarts Owls will be released to deliver the letters. But before they do, I have a few questions for you. I'm curious to learn more about the nature of your first spell. Ask me what sort of wizard I am. I, I consider myself to be all you. I tell him that I, I'm playful. I want to have fun with my magic. Then I learn the truth behind my first magical moment. I transfigured my the spell books into the toadstool ta tales and my favorite book when I was little uh, says much about the sort of witch or wizard they may eventually become uh, thanks professor now to the my next question process is both incredible and mysterious to be an effective lead volunteer there is much you one must learn or which did you find most rewarding? I found knowledge I gained to be the most rewarding. It is my wish that I, my volunteers explain the knowledge of Hogwarts. And in your case, to explain knowledge of one's past as well. Aside from your own magical journey, uh, what did you learn on this journey? Uh, I was most fascinated by my by learning my about my friend's first magical moment. The better we know those close to us, the deeper our bonds become. Each of your friends had a unique magical moment. Uh, and I imagine all the children who will receive a Hogwarts acceptance letter this year. That's a lot to think about. That is the scale of your accomplishments with Hogwarts acceptance letters. Your, du your duties are lead volunteer, uh, admirably. Uh, thanks to your efforts, a new generation of children will receive their invitation. Your contributions are appreciated and deserving. In recognition of your efforts, you will receive a replica. Uh, keep uh, it as a memento. I will. I believe it is time for the hours to begin the journeys. Oh, I want so oh, memories all the new students will make. I know one thing for sure. This moment right now is one that I'll treasure forever. 